not a spring chicken yet. You've been watching us do vlogs oftentimes from trade shows. But we've started something new and we're doing a vlog on crowdfunding. And you're going, why would you do something like that? Well, see, part of it is since Congress has actually they've made it crowdfunding easier right now. Well, yeah. And it's starting to become more popular and it's starting to catch on. So part of it is it's kind of an experiment to see if it actually works. <laughs> you're going, what? Well, see, part of it is, is there are things that we need to do, whether it works or not, so we've had to start doing it. We're crossing, we're crossing our fingers. We've got a couple different viewpoints. One is that it doesn't work at all, or it doesn't work. Well, no, on my That's side of Facebook, the my side of Facebook, which is the older veterans, that it has no it has no chance of working whatsoever. Okay, my side, which has more entertainment people, publicity people, and social media, and social media is that it's the newest, latest, greatest thing, right? And so I'm hoping that'll work. Now there's a couple different, well, we've got a couple different opinions, but actually we'll tell you what we've done so far, and we'll continue to tell you what opinions and what we're hearing and, and how it's working so far. Today is our first full day one of doing the campaign. Because prior to that, what we were doing was setting up the campaign to see how it works. And in the setup, of course, you write your description on what's going on, you put your perks, and then, in addition to that, we have um, your media that's attached. So we did do a vid video about it, about what we're doing on the campaign and the perks that you get. Because when I look through the different campaigns or word, like everybody doesn't do a video. Some of them just put a, put a couple pictures and explain it, explanation. Sometimes they do a team. Um, we've been fortunate is that we do have um, a couple different Facebooks, so a couple different Twitters, you know, um, Pinterest, and you know. So we do have some social media base already. Yeah, and as you might notice, because this is a new section, we're not mentioning the campaign. No, we're not mentioning the no campaign. no time during this are we mentioning the campaign, because that wouldn't be right. Right, so we're telling you about some of the different things um, that's happening, because see, part of it is, is there's some people that they, they think of crowdfunding as, um, well actually, let me say, it's a little bit different than the microfunding or macro funding, which is usually for small, real small amounts, and like a couple thousand dollars. Like a dollars. small business loan and things like, like that. Yeah, and they're usually high interest rate and it's from, for very poor countries or people that don't, yeah, you, you've seen some of that. It's like give them, you know, a thousand dollars so they can get the materials and start their own business, that type of thing. Um, the crowdfunding, we're seeing it being utilized for larger projects. We've seen it for everything from like, um, I need a new camera, I'm gonna go on a trip through Europe, we'll send you postcards every day. Well, I totaled my car and I needed a car replacement. <laughs> We're trying to fund this film project, or um, we need an operation on this dog, or we need somebody to help. So, you know, you, you've seen campaign things like that. I mean, sometimes, rarely you've seen them on the news. Your local news station is usually after a disaster has happened, right? Or something that gives a lot of public sympathy. Um, but crowdfunding, um, they say, actually we've read. <laughs> we've read a lot. Yeah, actually we did. Um, an estimated, 30% of the donations that come through crowdfunding are through your, is it through your relatives? Yep. Or is it relatives and friends? Relatives, basically in my sense of the world, it's almost 100% when you're doing an independent thing comes from your relative and friends. Yeah, which is, oh, that's who you would have gone to before. The same people you would have gone to before you go to now. And see, that, that's what they used to call fundraising before. You You know, it's like, remember the Girl Scout cookies? Who did you sell the cookies to? <laughs> yeah. Your family, your friends, your your you know your family bought them all. They sell, sold it to the coworkers. It's the same type of thing. And I always think of crowdfunding is it's like well, what's the difference between having to going to crowdfunding site versus just doing a website and putting a donate button on there? There is no real difference, none whatsoever. Yeah, like if you do your website with a donate button, you don't have all the fees. That's <laughs> right. right. That's the difference, and the fact too is that. We've already started the planning to do everything we're going to do, regardless whether crowdfunding works or not. We've already purchased one brand new camera, mm -hmm. taken a second camera, we've got a broadcast camera in being tuned up, and are buying all the connections for the third camera for live streaming. So mm -hmm. we, you know, I, 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 we have to be practical and assume it will not work. Yeah. Um, part of it is by utilizing the, the crowdfunding organizations, First of all, do your research because there's, there's more and more that are coming up. Is they have a format for you to follow, 
and they do have, if you get enough interest, they put you up on the page, and so when people go to their sites, they can peruse the different types of projects that are out there. Um, those are people that are typically either like crowdfunding or they're trying to do their own campaign and trying to figure out how to do it. Those are the ones that are looking at it, other than people that you're directing them to go look at it. Okay. So we're going so. to give you an honest day, a daily thing, because it's just for a short time, and um, we can guarantee you we're way far behind in our first full day. I know, because we took it. It's like, you know, they always say that it always happens. That everything comes right at the beginning, right? So if you yeah. start things, you're going to do it. you got to do it. Okay, the bulk comes at the beginning, so get it started, right? And so we're like, well, wait a minute, if you took... If we're doing it for 10 days and you take what you need to do within a certain amount of time, then, well, you got to get it started. Okay, so we've posted, we've done our video, we've posted to Facebook, we've posted, followed on Twitter, we've at, pulled in favors from other people that we know have large, large social networks to ask them to go ahead and share it. So right now... Oh, everybody likes it, but nobody <laughs> wants to get involved with it. That's the way it works. I mean, we've got... We've basically just got, got awful amount of attention and nobody wants to get involved with it. And we, it's not something that hasn't been done before because... Well, we did give we, for some first funding. Um, yeah, but that was just somebody who wants to goof the railway. The railway the yeah. Way. So, but part of it is, is there's one thing that we know. We've got a lot more work to do. So we're going to keep you apprised on a daily basis to tell you what we've done and what's been accomplished so far. Because you know what? Does crowdfunding work or not? Well... You'll get to learn from what we're doing. Yeah, we'll and share then with you. We, 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 we'll, we'll, you'll know, hopefully, how to go about it because of all of the problems that we're going to have doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a community service is what we're doing. 